Hey, I'm Joe with Nocturnal. How are you doing today, Jay? Hey, Joe. Good. Nice to meet you. Tell me about when you first encountered the story for High Desert and what compelled you to want to make it. You know, I, I fell for it uh, after connecting with Patricia. She called up and said, you know, uh, we're making this thing. We take a read. And I just fell in love with her character, in particular, Peggy, because I, I felt like she was going for something that I hadn't seen her try before. And I, I love the idea of sort of these misfits out in the desert um, kind of going out there to isolate themselves, but then finding each other, all these sort of slightly off-center people, uh, you know, and, and with her as the, the kind of queen bee, the, the hub of it all. Uh, and, and then, of course, you know, she's coping with a lot of dysfunctions, but the flip side of her dysfunction is her functionality, where she actually helps a lot of people in the desert and, um, and then decides to become a private investigator, because who wouldn't? <laughs> Did you direct all the episodes in the series? And then also, like, what's the challenges of directing a series compared to, you know, films and documentaries, which we know you for. I, I did do all eight. I was originally going to do one, and I liked the script so much, I said, I'll maybe do two more. And then eventually, after talking to the showrunners, who I fell in love with too, I just said, yeah, I'd like to do all of them. And they said, OK. And, and I shot it like a feature. I cross-boarded, shot out the locations for multiple episodes, and sort of shot out a sequence. But it also gave me a chance to uh, with more screen time to go deeper into character and to to play with a, a kind of very disparate tone. There's a, there's a quite a tonal range in the piece from very, very heavy uh, tragedy and sometimes uh, danger uh, all the way to um, a kind of a comedic, dark comedic thing, almost like a Coen Brothers tone sometimes. So it, it was similar to a feature in a way, uh, but I, but I got more opportunity to, to, to sort of, you know, extend the range a little bit. And that was exciting. Was there a certain scene or moment in prep that you're like, hmm, I really hope we pull this, pull this off well? <laughs> There's a scene where um, Patricia, as Peggy, who works in Pioneer Town, which is a kind of not doing so well uh, amusement attraction with a, a fake western town and her siblings show up wondering what kind of crazy job she's gotten herself into and she ends up flying into the room on a chandelier and gets into a bar fight <laughs> and uh we, it was just so challenging and had so many moving parts uh and we decided to do it as the very first day uh which was you know you usually start with easier stuff to just to ramp up but the crew was so great and and she was fantastic she and she did a, a lot of her own stunt work and the flying but the looks on the face of Kira Donnell and, and Christine Taylor as her siblings as she was flying over them those were real they were actually astonished that <laughs> the, Patricia Arquette was flying in on a, a chandelier well that's fantastic thank you so much Jay sure thank you first time you read these scripts what ideas really start to stand out about your characters well, reading reading the the first script, which was the really the only one I got when I had learned about the character, was was you know recognizing right off the bat that the 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 siblings in this story are really going to be the the sort of grounding force of Peggy and really sort of. Like, you know, we are like the voice of reality. She's sort of living in this fantasy world. And we're a little bit of like the Debbie Downers to, <laughs> to her grand plans. But for a, for, some, for a character that larger than life, I recognize that you really need to have, you know, you, you had to show this other side to her of, of really who she was, what she came from before she got, you know, messed up in drugs and making bad decisions. And so it, it, I felt that it was an important part and I could just relate. I think it's just sort of sibling family dynamics and the loss of a parent, you know, all hell can break loose. And I just felt like it was a really important sort of story to tell within the bigger context of, you know, mm. um, you know, Peggy's like big adventures, which, you know, it's really sort of she goes into her own world. But having us is like at the end of the day, she really just wants to please us mm. and 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 get our acceptance. So I, I saw that it was valuable. And, and the, the thought of 
playing Patricia Arquette's sister was like a dream, <laughs> no. a dream role. So, yeah. Kira, was there other parts of the, the first script that you read that you're like, oh, this is really interesting about this character, or you start to develop some of those ideas? Yeah, I mean, I mean, the same as Christine. It's like it's such a wonderful world with like just wild, zany characters. But the fact that we got to sort of ground that, and you know, I think a lot of the comedy comes from pain sometimes, and there, there's a lot of sort of like heaviness almost, like we're grieving for our dead mother and Peggy's an addict, but there's something about it where if we could just find the the, the core storylines of like family and the fact that we love each other and that she's taking us on this wild ride our whole lives, you know, there's something, there's like a lot to mine there that's sort of like just bizarre kind of awkward situations that a lot of, you know, humor can actually come out of that, which I don't know, that always appeals to yeah. me. There's parts of the show that feel very planned and there's parts of it that feel a little bit more sporadic and improvised. Hmm. Like what was the structure between or the balance between like structure and freedom? Well, I mean, so much of it was really on the page. I think even when you're seeing it and it feels really spontaneous, it was that was really the the there on the page right from the start. However, you know, Jay Roach, who was, you know, directed all eight episodes, was so open. And Patricia, by the way, it was, you know, I think Patricia was the first one to say when we rehearsed, she was like, I never like to read the stage direction mm -hmm. in between the lines because I don't want that to inform what we're doing in the scene. Like right. if it says she goes to the counter and gets a cup of coffee, she's like, I look, I don't look at any of that right <laughs> off the bat. Right. Um, and I love that because it things did evolve so much. And Patricia, you know, in 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 sort of discovering this character and our relationship with her, there was a lot that just came up, you know, like new things to try that ended up working and sticking in the final script. So um I so I think it was a really good mix of both. Mm. That's fantastic. Well thank you both so much. Thanks, Thank Joe. you.